So today we will be reviewing our new tumble dryer which is the Hoover VTV570NB model. So if I just turn the camera around we can see it's just there. Um, so we got this delivered from AO. Um, really good service, came really really quickly. Delivery was free, we got to choose the day that it came and they called us on the day to let us know when they'd be arriving. We got a four hour time slot and they came within an hour and a half of that so um, yeah couldn't fault it at all. So we're going to unpack it and then have a look and see what it's all about. So Ian is unboxing the tumble dryer. Da, 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 da. We also noticed that it has this piece of handy piece of wood in between the polystyrene packaging which stops it from falling forward and getting damaged if it does fall which we thought was pretty snazzy. So we're actually unpacking this in our living room. This obviously isn't where the tumble dryer will stay, but um, we thought it might be easier to do it in here. Ta -da. This is good how they keep the plug on the back of it. Let's have a look. Oh yeah! So they just tie up the plug and then slot it in the side there. Oh, another piece of handy wood. It's very neat on the back. Now I know that people don't always choose their tumble dryers based on how they look. But I have to say, it does look pretty smart. Right, so we've now got everything out of the tumble dryer that it comes with. So Ian's just going to have a look at what we've got. So inside the tumble dryer was this, everything was in this handy bag. So you can put it all back in there and keep it all up together when you finish installing the tumble dryer. It comes with um, some safety tips on how to use the tumble dryer correctly and safely. Uh, user guide so you can get it all set up. Um, but also it comes with this, which is quite handy, which is actually on top of the tumble dryer before you get out of the packaging, which is just a quick setup and user guide just to get you started as soon as possible. Also comes with this sticker which tells us that the tumble dryer is NG rating B. Uh, the previous tumble dryer that we had was quite an old one and probably used quite a lot of energy so hoping to save some money there. Also the reason why we, one of the main reasons we chose this compared to other tumble dryers was the sensor system. So it will, it will actually stop the cycle no matter what cycle you've got it on when it senses that the clothes are dry. And this should help to save us money from running the machine and also save our clothes from being over dried and just getting too hot really. Studying the instruction manual. On how to fit the tube for venting the tumble dryer.
So there is our old tumble dryer. As you can see, it's uh, much smaller than the one we've now got. And this is our little makeshift utility area. So we don't actually have room in our house for a utility, so we've made one in the shed. And that's where our new tumble dryer is going to go. So we need two people to lift it in, so I shall come back when it's in. Right, so we've got our first lot of washing to go in the tumble dryer. I'm just going to stand back a bit so you can see what's happening. So we've got a super king bed, um, which means that we've got quite a lot of washing when it comes to doing our sheets. And in a tumble dryer that we had before, which was a three kilogram, this is a seven kilogram, um, we could just about fit it all in and it used to take us it had a 120 minute setting we used to have to put it on twice so it used to take us nearly four hours to dry all our clothes and um so all of our bedding lot, so it's so much easier to load up with a big door that opens right up and you can see if you can see in there it's quite dark but there is plenty of room like i think we could probably get double that amount in there would you yeah, say probably. so that's like two two um bedding's worth really isn't it you could probably do two lots of bedding or bedding plus clothes i mean we've only washed the bedding this time because normally we can't fit anything else in with the bedding but next time do a bit more i'll just show the um where the Obviously, this is the first time we're using it, so there isn't anything in there, but this is the filter. So this is the bit that you would just empty out, which is quite easy to get in and out. There we go. And then we'll just have a look at the settings. So, here we go, I'll just get up close. So you've got, on the right hand side, you've got the timed drying. Um, so if you want a specific amount of time that you've got to dry stuff, and you need to be done in that time, you can select. The amount of time you want the tumble dryer to go on or on the left hand side you can see that there's the sensor programming so that's um, what we spoke about earlier and um, the sensor system so it will literally just keep drying it until it's dry and then the actual machine will turn off and stop um, which is great for energy saving um, so I think let's have a look at what settings we've got here so you've got Bone dry, extra dry, cupboard dry, iron dry, wool finish, relax, um, which is, is that 12 minutes it says there? And a rapid at 40. So um, that's quite a good setting for if you've got something that you really need to be dry um, as soon as possible, you could put it on that setting. So I think for this one, we're going to go for the bone dry because this is our bedding and we need to use it tonight. We're not very organised, so we've done it late at night and we need to get it dry as soon as possible. So I think we're going to go for extra dry. And then if you see here, there's a delayed start button. So for instance, if you wanted to have some stuff that was dried but didn't want it disrupting your um, TV programme or if you've got guests around but you want to make sure that it's done, you can put it on a delayed start. So you've got the options of three, six or nine hours. Um, and then there's also a delicate button as well. So that's quite good for if you've got sort of t-shirts and things that you don't want to shrink, but you need to get dry, you could use the delicate. So I think we're gonna just start. So if you can press start. And that's it and it's off. I think noise wise, it's not, it's actually a bit quieter than the one we had before, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And there we go. We're away. That was a pretty easy process, I'd say. Didn't take us very long. No. There we go. As you can see down here, we've got a ready-made hole in the side of the shed for the vent. Um, I know a lot of people tend to go for condenser tumble dryers, but they do tend to be more expensive and actually if you've already got the setup for a vented tumble dryer and um, it makes sense just to have that so and um, that's why we went for vented it's pretty good there we go all done